man. Yeah, I got Gilberto coming in right now. Gilberto? Gilberto? Yeah. All right. So we're here with Regis. <laughs> okay. Hey, Benji, we got Benji. We got Julian. Yeah. We're here at the Brick House. So what's up, Regis? Talk to us. Talk to us. What's up, How you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Back from Dubai. Back from Dubai. We in LA now. I feel amazing. I feel real good. That's fine. Yeah. Nice six seven. Yeah. Yeah. Nice successful trip over there. Nice successful trip. We had a lot of fun. Got the job done. And now we back. Now we working again. You know, we're seeing what's next. That's all. What are you guys thinking? Or like, what would you guys like? Would be an ideal time to, to right, be back so in the world. Shot. I'm just the yes. Well, they say most likely a very high possibility that it's going to happen. I fight for the WBC belt again, official belt again. And it might be with Jose Zapata, which is he trains Zapata, he trained me. So, you know, he's out of the equation for both of us, for both of us or whatever. So, so I can't, so I can't ask for the breakdown, no, huh? Yep, can I? Not at all. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> can't put no you on the spot for that one. All I'm going to say is we're talking about is that God is funny, you know. I'm desperate. I can fight for a world title. I want a world champion, uh, a current world champion that has a belt right now. And the first opportunity gets thrown my way is my, two of my guys are going to fight for it, so... Yeah. Have you guys ever sparred? You guys, you guys have never worked with each other. They don't know each other like that. We don't know each other. So it's cool. We fighting, but like he trained both of us, you know. No, no. Now, now he even knows even how if, I felt when you and Mikey were talking about but fighting. But even if we friends, it don't matter, bro. Like, all right. So I look at it like this, right? Yeah, we should fight Mikey. We definitely should fight like with WBC. But yeah. then, but then the way to get thrown out. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, you know, he deserves a shot. Yeah, I deserve to get my belt back. So you know, that's why it's an interesting fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, Mike will be a fucking, you know, that'll be a big fight. Maybe next or something like that. So. All right, all right. So that's that's what that's what you guys are working towards or leaning towards. Oh, that's kind what's, of what's supposed to happen. Yeah. What's supposed to happen? Okay, and but do we have a time frame? No time frame. I messed my hand up, so I gotta fucking make sure my hand is good and shit like that. So. Can this game plan work? Yeah, McKenna Norman said. Kinson. Yeah, McKenna, McKenna, Tyron, Tyron McKenna. McKenna. Yeah, he said uh, he's actually a cool dude. Shout out to Tyron McKenna. Um, he was like at the win. He was like, man, you gonna break your hand on my head? I'm like, bro, that's what you counting on to win this fight. And he was like, he was laughing and shit, but I really fucked my hand up. <laughs> <laughs> I really did mess my hand up. And so I was like, God damn, that shit hurt. I took it off. Like, God, you came my away shit. with that one. <laughs> yeah, came away with that one. He got that no, one. He no, called no, that shit. <laughs> Not one of the best fucking predictions, Tyrone. We got that shit. My shit would have to fight my shit. Was rolling. My shit was biggest. That's not fuck. that you said the first one. Damn. <laughs> he gonna break your fucking hand on my face. <laughs> then he lose the fucking fight. But he fucking did fucking hand. I fuck my hand. I break it, but I fuck my shit. He like you got something right, right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, one of the coolest fighters, man. Yeah. For real? Yeah, he real cool. He seemed like it. Yeah, he, he was. Cool. He was fucking. He was cool. I saw some of his stuff after. Yeah, he was definitely cool. As fuck. I won't go to Ireland. Yeah. Well, I love how this this guy's wearing the Ethica hat. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, so um, you're here for the weekend. We're just talking about it. Uh, you're gonna stop by the top ring fights, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you said one of um, Jenny. Jenny Future is making her pro debut. Um, she's Olympian out of Houston. So you know we all get a real good fight at South Park, real good. So she's making her pro debut, and of course I'm uh, we're gonna support. Her. That's awesome. That's incredible. And then we also, um, Ryan Garcia. Well, Ryan is fighting this Saturday too, right? Yeah. yeah in the I'm heading over there tonight. Yeah, he, he got you working the fights too. So I what got are Azat, Azat Hovenosian. He's going to be the opening the zone uh, fight. So but what, what are, that, that's who you're working that's with? That's who I'm working with, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And what, what are your guys' thoughts or your guys' breakdown on Ryan Garcia coming back? Because he hasn't obviously been in the ring for a while, and you know, of course, there's there's a lot of commotion, you know, behind him. Oh, and, and as you were saying earlier, you, although there's so much commotion, it shouldn't take away that you still think he's a good fighter, right? Think, he has potential. I think, well, he's pretty decent. I think he's pretty decent. You know, um, I don't know. I mean, he, he beat what Luke Campbell. That was a that was a big fight for him. I mean, yeah. He stopped him. Matter yeah. Fact, which was the only one that and stopped he, him. And he got dropped. And he, he got, got dropped. Back he got back up. I think. I think. So do you think that says something about him then, as I a think, fighter? Yeah, for sure. I think Ryan is better than what most people think he is. You know, because he does have a lot of hype on. He does. He has a. I mean, big following. Um, social media follow. He has a huge following, but. You know, I think a lot of people look at that. He does like the, the, the YouTube challenges and shit like that. He gets a lot of views on that stuff. So I think a lot of people look at him as a YouTube fighter. But I, I was in that. I found the same amateur tournaments as him uh, back long, long time ago. He's always been a very good fighter. He's not a YouTuber. This guy has had 
amateur background. He, he can punch, speed, and yeah. power, both. Yeah. Good timing, good frame. You know, and then the other guy he's fighting, he's like Taylor made for he's shorter than him. He's going to have to try to close the distance, and he's going to have a bomb waiting for him yeah. trying to close that gap. Exactly, and, and a big thing, or a right hand, because he can punch with both hands. Mm -hmm. But um, I haven't really watched the, the guy fight, Tago. Uh, his, his name is Tago, I think his last name. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I'll look at a guy's record, and I know you can't always go off that, but he got two majority decisions back to back against one guy who's, I think, 20 and 3, and the other one was like 16 and 5 or 18 and 5. So if you barely squeaked out of beating those guys, you know, how are you going to. Right. 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 And he fought, he fought at like, I think he fought at 126 before, like he fought at a really small weight, you know, he's a smaller guy, I, I just don't see how, I think he's going to get knocked out, like a brutal one too. Oh wow. Probably yeah. stronger man. Yeah. I'm just going to have to fight. Me too. How are we going to do that? Top rank fights? What are we, how, how are we going to do that? I'm going to keep it on my phone. <laughs> are we going to have the phone going yeah, and beat out that guy? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. We'll and see. then and then, what are your guys' thoughts on um, Tank and Rolly? Now that that fight is finally going down. Man, Tank going to kill Rolly. <laughs> I think he's going to slaughter Rolly. For real? I think Rolly, you know I talk a lot of shit, right? Rolly needs to start <laughs> picking out his coffins right now. Tank going to slaughter Rolly. Okay. I think Wait, I'm not I still fuck Tank up though. Don't don't get this twisted. I, but I think he'll whoop Rolly. But if Tank ever come fuck with me, I definitely fuck him up. But Rolly, he gonna he gonna lose him. I already know. He he, he, Rolly has never competed at a high high level. You know it, it's different. He's knocking out these guys like I mean he can punch. You can see that he's got some crack. But mm -hmm. to land that on an elite fighter is different than landing it on the guys that he that he's been fighting. You know F uh, like Rolly simple wild. as that. Tank will duck all Everything yeah. wide. Tank he's, he's Tank is talent, just as talented, if not more, more probably stronger, strong, harder. more pa more polished, more, more experienced, more, yeah, all those things, quicker, all that shit. Only but thing Rolly's awkward, like awkward. And guess what? <laughs> he, he got confident. He awkward and he got confident. Yeah, yeah. He, he believes in himself. Kid. That's a and big that's one. Fucking, that's Correct. really big. He, he believes in himself. You gotta fucking if you believe like this motherfucker can't beat me. He really believe that he think like it goes a long way. That shit, spirit, yeah. of, spirit before every, anything. You could be the best technical guy. You don't have the spirit, you right? Do nothing. So he got that confidence. So that might be that, that might be a little something because he really think like he gonna fuck Tank up. Not like I'm gonna beat him and I'm gonna win. And he think I'm gonna beat the fuck out this dude. He really think he gonna fuck he him up. He says he's gonna knock him out. 100%. Yeah, he said I'm gonna knock him out. Shit, he really believe that. So that shit, that confidence, that's the big difference. Yeah, that always that's always a big difference. I feel like, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna jump really fast because I know you kind of are in like a time crunch because you have your meeting. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on Canelo? His I upcoming fight. fight Maul. Huh? That's my thing. I want to see him fight um, Maul or Benavidez. Jamal or Benavidez. Maul yeah. Charlo or Benavidez. That's why I want to see him fight. But, you know, I, a lot of people say. But Bivol, like, you don't think. Bivol is a real fight. Bivol is a Yeah, he's, he's no, gangster. I'm, I'm sorry. That, I, 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 no, I've known him for a long time. time. That's what I was feeling like. That's why I wanted to see. I feel like, haven't you guys both crossed paths with him in the gym or no? A bunch of times. I used to wrap his hands. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think he has, like, a, a chance? A, yes. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for sure. he's bad. He's very good at keeping his distance. Wait, Canelo's very good at closing oh, the, the, the distance. I think if he can, if Bivol can find a way to stay off the ropes, I think it's gonna look like this. The first few rounds, Bivol's gonna be having a lot of success on the outside. He's gonna be making contact with the straight punches, but then eventually once his legs are starting to get a little more tired, Canelo's gonna get him to the ropes. He's gonna frame him, like put his arm up against him and like position him in bad places and just maul him till he don't wanna fight no more. That's kind of what Same I said to the bottom. Like, like, um, like, 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, Same wait, he like gave plant. us like a <laughs> Same thing kind of like Plant. Plant yeah. had, you know, Same real, you know, he had real good um, success early, keeping him outside, and I was just walking I, down. Yes. Plant is a little bit slipperier, uh, yeah, slipperier yeah. movement than, than Bivol, but Bivol strong. is stronger. Right. You cannot disrespect his power. I've seen it in the gym. I saw him put a guy in a, gave a guy a brain bleed in sparring. I went to the hospital, never fought again. Sparring. Yeah. Right hand. Right here. God damn. It's a interview. Well, damn. Yeah. Well, good. 
You know, I, I hope the favor is with your fighter. Yeah. So on, on Saturday, oh, and then you. I'll see you guys at the top rank fights. Yeah, and I'll get uh, more stuff. And, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again. Yeah, again, yeah, shout sure. out Brick House. We're over here. Where are we located? North Hollywood. North Hollywood. And this is an open gym, right? Yeah. Anyone can yeah. come train. Anyone can come, and you have trainers that will actually coach, like, For just sure. regular people like myself or Benji. Benji's a very regular person. No. no. <laughs> you like, must not know. No, no, no. You're I'm just like, no. that was just a joke. You got to see me, dog. You got to see me. <laughs> I'm humble too. He knows. He knows it's a joke. It's a joke. But no, we got classes. We got classes, and, and uh, everyone here. We, we like to try to stick to. It's not like just fitness boxing. You know, we try to like be fundamental and and, and, and train properly here. So awesome. Come come check us out. Okay, cool. Well, thank you again for letting me come and letting me film. I appreciate it. Can't let for it the interview, come, man. She's talking all that shit. You can't let it come back.